All right, can you do the most sexy clap with this camera ever saw? <laughs> <rire> Bonjour les rebelles intelligents, je suis aujourd'hui avec un invité exceptionnel en la présence de Johannes. How are you, Johannes? I'm good, bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va Ça va. Donc, Johannes va être un des conférenciers invités à l'événement Travailler moins et Gagner plus qui aura lieu donc en septembre à Paris. Et j'ai tenu à l'interviewer parce que déjà, c'est quelqu'un qui a énormément de compétences, mais aussi pour vous donner un aperçu de ce qu'il va partager pendant l'événement et puis aussi pour vous permettre de mieux le connaître. Comme ça, vous pourrez aller lui parler quand, quand vous serez à l'événement. So, Johannes, uh, I want to interview you because you are an amazing example of someone who, like, not only is a good entrepreneur, an amazing entrepreneur, you know how to build companies from scratch and to uh, make them reach at least seven figures, but also without killing yourself, without, uh, you know, uh, working 70 hours a week, you have an amazing lifestyle, you travel a lot, you have kids, uh, and you don't work so much. So it's very impressive. And can you share, like, uh, in a summary, what you achieved so far in your entrepreneurial journey? It's a very open question. <laughs> um, so I started uh, working online 12 years ago when my daughter was born. Um, I was working as a consultant and flying back and forth every week through different countries. And there came to a point where I just had a realization that I didn't want, not want to be a weekend dad. I wanted to be available for my daughter, for my family. Um, and I wanted to have a business that would allow me to maintain my lifestyle because I was making decent money as a consultant but I would, wanted a lot of flexibility and a lot of time. And I did quite a lot of research and then found the information product world and started my first product back then, 12 years ago, which was a speed reading course uh, in the Spanish speaking market. And we took that to seven figures and then we launched a memory training course with the world memory champion which was also instantly successful. That's the first time I started doing launches. I got to know Jeff Walker and the whole launch world. And um, yeah, and since then I have built seven or eight. I think I said eight before, but I looked at it. I think it's seven. Seven. Seven different seven-figure businesses, information marketing businesses in different countries and different niches from how to speak English for Spanish speakers, Um, how to reinvest in real estate. I'm involved in a project in Germany um, where I'm mentoring and coaching, which is an AI training, the AI training institute that is growing very quickly as well. Um, I'm currently work working on a business in South America where we teach people to work remotely and generate an income in US dollars while remaining in Latin America. That's also at multiple seven figures now. So yeah, I've been doing a few of these. Um, and pretty course, inform information based yeah. businesses over it's these It's pretty consistent the, the results you get. Yes, I think it's um, once you have figured out the system, you can replicate it in other areas and other niches. Um, what's probably different as well from what I do to what most people do in our world, in our market, is that I'm not usually the face of the business. Um, I partner with other people that are experts in certain areas and help them to create a business around their expertise. So that allows me to focus on the, on the business and the marketing part 100% and not having to do the content, um, which is probably one of the reasons which has allowed me to work in so many different markets and verticals, um, because it's not me, otherwise I would have had to reinvent myself. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> seven or eight times in all these different markets, so. So for every one of these businesses, you were not the face of the business. Correct. You didn't create the content. Correct. You were like the COO and the head of marketing, basically. Yeah, I think for me, the best way to explain it is like an editorial company. But instead of publishing books, I help people to publish and market online courses. Um, yeah, that's probably the best way to describe. So it's a very interesting way of being an entrepreneur Uh, because, as you said, you can just replicate your skills to yes. any industry with uh, economic potential. Yes. I don't know if to any, but I have tried a lot of different ones and it always worked so far. I mean, they, I, I, I did way more if I said, we said I took seven niches or seven businesses to seven figures. I did a lot more than seven projects, right? These are the seven that really worked. 
um, I've probably done at least another 14. <laughs> and half of them, we got to six figures or multiple six figures, and then another seven, maybe another third just didn't really work out. And a lot of times, the ones that didn't work out was a more relationship problem with the experts that they didn't really understand the business model or the working together didn't work out in a way that um, that didn't make sense. For me, it's important. one of the most important reasons I have my own business is why I want to choose the people I work with, I want to choose the people I spend my time uh, with. And if I see that something's not working and the energy's not right and it's not fun to work with the person, I will, I will just kill the project um, because I know I can do another one that's more fun or, or where, where there's a better underlying relationship with the person I work together with. Yeah, so it's very interesting. It's like you you have this goal of having an amazing lifestyle and you don't get your companies, you don't let your companies get in the way. Exactly. I think for me, it's when I started my business, as I said earlier, that was my reason, right? My reason to start an online business is because I wanted a certain lifestyle, which for me involves family. I just had another baby and uh, so, so being with my family, but also traveling. I love traveling. Um, I travel anywhere between five and 15 countries every year uh, and most of the travels I do with my family and that's that's the reason I started my business and I think people sometimes get caught up in the idea they start a business because they see the lifestyle that's possible but then they get caught up in like the nitty-gritty of the working and they get really busy and then they end up having less time for themselves than maybe before they were an entrepreneur and I think that's one of the most important things to remind ourselves off again and again like why are we in this game why did we start an online business how do we want our life to be and how can we create a business or businesses that support that lifestyle we want for us yeah and i mean i'm curious about how you started to because how did you manage to learn all these skills you apply now in these businesses so for your first business you said it was a business uh, to uh, memorize more efficiently no to speed read right yeah but so how did you learn marketing and all the skills you needed to to, to build and grow a business from scratch i just learned i did my own almost mba at home i bought courses i bought books i just spent time studying learning um thing pe from people back then it was mainly people here from the us we're in the us together right now um it's still a market that's further along in certain areas, but right now in Europe, there are more people that actually have the skills to teach this kind of online marketing as well. Uh, I think going to events is something really important, meeting people in person, uh, meeting people in uh, making friendships. So, so you have a network of people you can talk to, maybe even joining a mastermind where you can go deeper and you build like real connection and friendships because whenever you are stuck with something, then you can just pick up the phone and call somebody else who is in a similar situation to you. Um, also, finding affiliates to promote your things, finding people to work together. Um, yeah, that's, that's one of the big things for me, going to events and, and meeting people in person and building real relationships because we're already online behind the screen the whole day building our, our business. So that's the best way to learn probably, if you would ask me about that, would be to, to meet people in person. Yeah, you know, it's so amazing because, I mean, uh, I have the same strategy as you. When I want to do something, I first learn by myself how to do it. Yeah. Like reading books, uh, uh, following courses, yes. uh, connecting with mentors, going to mastermind. Yes. Uh, and for us, it's obvious, but for m many people, it's not. Like, I mean, for the majority of the population, if they will hear that, they will be like, what do you mean? You didn't go to school for four years yeah. to get the diploma of how yeah. to become an entrepreneur and blah, blah, you know? Yeah, that Maybe. sadly does work. I, I wish the school system or the university system would actually teach you entrepreneurship in a way, in a not theoretical way, but in a practical way that actually helps you to build a business. I have not seen that. But I, I also, I think the, the thing with like a more structured education many times is the people that teach something are full-time teachers. And I think you can only learn entrepreneurship from people that have actually built businesses themselves. And there are a lot of people that have built businesses that teach what they have learned, what they have done. So I think that's one of the main criteria. If you want to choose somebody to learn from on how to build a business, or especially also how to build a lifestyle business, like you always need to find a mentor or a teacher that has done what you want to do. So if you want yeah. to build a lifestyle business, don't learn from somebody who's working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Because he tends to teach you maybe marketing skills, but he cannot teach you what you're looking for. So if you want to build a lifestyle business, go to Olivier. If you want to build a, you know what I mean? So it's, um, 
I think it's about looking um, for the right mentors and yeah, investing in yourself, investing into buying a course as well and really following through, sitting down, doing the work, which is not always easy when you're at home by, alone by yourself. That's why the network of actually meeting people is so important as well. Yeah, and um, why you didn't want to like, start your own company by yourself instead of you know, finding a partner? Because that, that's just, a, the to way be very many honest, I just, yeah, I just don't like. This is like a really big exception that we're doing interview and you post it on YouTube. And and I'm like, I'm a very private person usually. I do sometimes go to events and speak, but there's none. You don't find me online. I don't have social media. Like I don't have an Instagram account. I don't have a Facebook account. I have a Twitter account which I don't use or an X account which I don't use. <laughs> but that's it. So I just don't want. I, I just figured out at some point that's not something I want to do. And that goes back maybe to the initial things of. I think it's so essential before you start your business to really think, what do I want from my life? How do I want my life to be? And in my case, which is different to your case, I just decided I don't want to be a public person. I don't want to do videos. I don't want to be, share my life on social media. So I found other people who are willing to do that. I think there's, there's this concept called unique ability from Dan Sullivan from Strategic Code. Um, I know you know, you know him as well. Um, and unique ability is the... It's like the intersection of something you do really well and you enjoy to do at the same time. And I think it's important to find what is your unique ability for each of us, what is my unique ability, what do I enjoy doing and, and, and good at at the same time or learn to be good at. And then focus on that and try to find people, a team, collaborators around you to do the other parts because they might enjoy that. Um, the thing you're not enjoying. And, I, I guess that's probably the, was a little bit a long answer, but that's probably the best way I can explain this. Great. This is really a, a good example of, uh, you know, just finding a way that works for you. Because many people, for example, are blocked at this stage. Like they are learning marketing, they are learning how to be a good entrepreneur. But like you, either they don't want to be the face of the business or they, or they don't have really an idea of, of what to teach of, or what, of, yeah. of what to do. Yeah. And then they are stuck there. Yeah. But it's kind of easy to overcome this by, by using your strategy, which is to fa basically find a, a partner find who is willing yeah. to be the face of the business, who already has a business, already has an idea. Exactly. But who doesn't want to learn the whole marketing stuff, right? So, so it's, a, it's a perfect synergy. So again, yeah, it's a really good strategy you can try if you really want to have a business in service of your life. Uh, and you're willing to do the work to learn the skills, but you don't know, you don't have any idea, or you really don't want to be the face of the business, use your honest strategy. Like the, the world is full of entrepreneurs doing so-so online. Oh. Uh, I mean, sometimes doing great offline, but they don't have any online strategy and it can be amazing to uh, help them digitize their Exactly. That, that, their so strategy. there's different ways, right? You can start, where I had business where I started from scratch where somebody literally, they did not have any following on social media. They, they just had something they valuable to teach to the world and I helped them to build everything from scratch. But I also worked with people who already had a certain level of authority and audience. And then it's obviously very quick. Uh, like for example, what I told you, the, my second business, the memory training business, he was a world champion in memory training. So he already had a lot of credibility. He was on TV a lot. So, so it was relatively easy to position him and to say, hey, do you want to learn memory training from the world champion? Because until then he only had done offline trainings and there was nothing online where you could learn from him. Right, so, so there's so many opportunities uh, at so many different levels to do that. Yeah, and I mean, the world is full of experts that are really good at what they are doing, but they don't know how to sell themselves. Correct. Like Correct. millions of people. It, it's just ridiculous. And uh, man, even sometimes they have a good uh, following on social media, but they don't make any but money. But they don't know how to monetize yeah. it. And then learning the skills, the marketing skills, and then help them to monetize the list, that's a very shortcut to making quite a lot of money quickly, actually, because they already have an audience, they have a warm audience that follow them, they trust, but they don't know how to market a course to them. So, so if you fill that void, you can make considerable money very quickly. So what would be the, the most important skills that people need to learn to be able to do what you do, like build or grow businesses like regularly to six figures or even seven? Or seven. I, I mean, first it's 
like learn the craft yourself. You need to learn marketing. You need to understand funnels. You need to understand copywriting. You need to understand traffic to a certain extent. So, so first you need to learn the basic online marketing skills yourself. Um, but then in order to scale, you need to start building a team. There's no other way. So the next step, you, you, can, you can just by yourself or maybe with one assistant, you can get to multiple six figures or maybe even low seven figures. I think you can make a million a year in sales just by yourself, but you're gonna be working a lot. So if you want to build, scale your businesses and have a certain lifestyle, you need to start building a team. You okay. need to um, either train other people around you with the skills you have learned, which is the little bit a longer way, but it's a cheaper version because you take people that will not request a very high salary from the beginning, or you collaborate with other people who already are at a high level of the game, they know what they're doing, uh, if you don't have the money to pay them initially, you can maybe get an agreement where you share percentages of the company with other people. So you find somebody who's, for example, really good in buying ads on Facebook. And you partner with that person. You say, okay, so you get a certain percentage, I get a certain percentage, let's work together on this. Then you don't have to learn how to buy ads at scale on Facebook because you involve somebody that already knows how to do that. So, um, and then we come back to the importance of, like, live events, in-person FaceTime with people, because that's where you meet and start establishing a network of, of these kinds of people. It's very, very difficult to do that while you just, if you always stay behind the screen on, online. So you have many skills, um, and so you, you know how to, uh, to build and grow a business from scratch. You know how to uh, monetize a, a list, uh, an existing audience efficiently. You know how to do that while keeping your lifestyle and uh, enjoying, enjoying life. So I have a question for you guys. Okay, you guys who are going to the event Travailler Moins pour Gagner Plus. What topic would you want Johannes to talk about? So, like for example, what, what could you talk about at the event? I could talk, I mean, I could talk about the general business model to say how to build an online business without being the face, right? That could be one, one thing to go deeper and to explain like which pieces need to be put in place, etc. I could talk when, I think the topic we were just talking about to building a team and starting to scale, I think there are two, two essential things to that. So I could talk about how it is a lot easier if you create what I call a mission-driven driven business, if there's a mission behind the business, uh, like the business I, I mentioned earlier where we teach people in Latin America to, to work remotely, um, because it really changes the life. For a lot of people, it's literally the alternative of migrating illegally to the US and working as a cleaner or as a construction worker, they cannot just work from home online for a company in the US in customer service, for example, and, and, and get an income in dollars. So, so there's a big mission behind that to change Latin America, to make um, the world a little bit fairer, et cetera, et cetera. So, so to have a clear mission and then find a team of people who really support that mission and believe in that mission makes a lot of things easier. It makes you grow a lot quicker. Um, that's one thing. And then the other thing is, it's another con uh, concept from Dan, Dan Sullivan, uh, what he calls a self-managing business, um, which is really important for you to keep your lifestyle. So how do you work together with a team in a way you don't have to micromanage and review every step and everything they're doing because then you can, cannot have the lifestyle. How can, you, how can you create a team that works in an autonomous way, in a way that you could just say, I'm not gonna be online for the next month and you could do that anytime without that affecting your business, even in the middle of the launch, right? That's like the end goal. And, um, and I do think I also learned a few things over the last 12 years on how to do that. So, yeah, so we could start from, yeah, the basics, how to set up a business where you're not the phase, or we could go all the way towards saying how to build a seven-figure business while maintaining the lifestyle, leveraging a team, and what's the kind of things I do there to do that. I think these would maybe be, depending on the where the audience is at now and, and if they're like starting out or, or people that would like to, to scale from where they are or people that would like to delegate more things to a team to get more of their lifestyle back again. How to build a business to seven figures while keeping your lifestyle? Yeah. And second? Or on how to, how to create a mission-driven business, which is part, part of that. And how to create a self-managing business could be an interesting thing as well. Okay. Um, where a team runs the business yeah, for, for you. you. Yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, very interesting. And I mean, there will be a bit of everything in each presentation, yeah. the, but the focus will be different, yeah. right? So, okay, so please tell us in the comments what focus you would prefer. 
Do you want Johannes to talk mostly about how you can build from scratch a business that uh, uh, goes to seven figures on, or more without killing yourself in the process? Do you want Johannes to focus more on how to build a business aligned with your values so you really love your business and the, the, the impact it has on the world? Or would you prefer that Johannes uh, focus on um, uh, having a team how to build a team that manage the business for you. So tell us in the comments and... Or anything else as well you would like to talk yeah. me about in, 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 in ba based on this interview. And also I'm going to be around. I'm going to be hanging out in Paris for the days of the event. So even though if I speak on one topic and there's another topic or anything I've been talking about that we didn't cover, you can just walk up to me in the hallway, find me, talk to me. I'm going to be around to answer any, any questions you might have. Thank you, Johannes. Yeah. It was good to have a, a little glimpse of uh, your amazingness and Thank everything you. you achieve and what you will share at the event. Donc, pour rencontrer Johannes et puis euh, profiter de la conférence incroyable qu'il va nous partager, que vous allez pouvoir choisir dans les commentaires, je vous ai mis un lien là euh, lié à cette vidéo. Cliquez dessus pour donc nous rejoindre à l'événement Travailler moins pour gagner plus. Il aura lieu les 20, 21 et 22 septembre 2024 à Paris dans un lieu magique, chargé d'histoire, le Grand Rex, en plein cœur de Paris, qui a déjà accueilli des artistes de renommée mondiale. Et cette fois-ci, eh il va accueillir Johannes et puis bien d'autres speakers. Et puis, ce sera aussi l'occasion, bien sûr, de vous rencontrer et de discuter de votre projet. Donc, dites-nous en commentaire sur quel sujet vous voulez que la conférence de Johannes porte. Et puis, cliquez sur le lien pour donc nous rejoindre à l'événement Travailler moins pour gagner plus. À très vite en septembre. Thank you, Johannes, and see you in Incroyable. September. Incroyable. Incroyable. <laughs>